in this video i'm going to share with you how to make a good youtube thumbnail this is the third part in the three part series so if you haven't checked out my other two parts to the series definitely go ahead and check those out after this video but if you want to learn how to make an amazing thumbnail to get people to click on your video and to get your video to blow up on youtube this is how you do it. i'm going to share with you some simple tips to get those views let's get into the video How's it going guys and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Simplicity. Hope you're having a wonderful day. And if you're brand new to the channel, we're all about building your brand, business and impact online through social media marketing. So maybe you want to quit that nine to five job, start a side hustle and turning your passion into a career, then consider subscribing by clicking that big red button down below and join the Creator Nation. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It really does help support the channel and helps us reach more people turning their dreams into a reality. So the very first thing that you want to do with a YouTube thumbnail, you really need to think about your personal brand as a YouTube channel. You need to think of your YouTube channel as a business. You need to remember that with any business, that they have some kind of logo, they generally have a slogan of some sort, they have brand colors all of these marketing strategies that help you remember who they are and it's going to get their logo their brand their colors inside your head so next time you maybe see those colors see something that reminds you of that brand they're going to pop up in your head and that can potentially trigger a sale you want to treat your thumbnail as the exact same way of this so therefore you need to come up with a template that all of your thumbnails the way your channel is set up all of these things are going to relate to that brand so you want to make sure that you have the same kind of text that you use the same kind of template and structure of each thumbnail you want to have a brand color associated with your channel all these things should be replicated in every single thumbnail so that your channel as a whole works well together and people are straight away going to recognize when they see your thumbnail they're going to recognize your channel and that is something that people really forget when it comes to creating thumbnails you need to remember that you're a brand and you need to make sure that your brand is shown in every single thumbnail so that it sticks in people's minds a lot of people are going to tell you to clickbait people and that's how you get people to click on your thumbnail thumbnail yes that is part of creating a thumbnail but if you don't have a template if you don't have brand colors and a brand set in place for your thumbnails and for your YouTube channel then people aren't going to recognize your thumbnail when it pops up on their home page or their suggested page so that's why when creating a good YouTube thumbnail you really need to take the time and think about what your brand is what your brand colors are and the cohesiveness that you're going to have with throughout your channel throughout your thumbnails so that people straight away recognize your brand and you're known for that style of thumbnail that style of text color all of those things that go into a thumbnail needs to be cohesive across all of your channel art your channel page your thumbnails all of that needs to be cohesive so that people straight away recognize your videos and they're more likely to click on them so that is the first and most important step make sure that you've actually built a brand built a business where people recognize your brand your slogan your colors all these things really are important to make high quality YouTube thumbnails. So really take the time, think about what your brand colors are, what kind of text you want to use, the style of your thumbnails that you want to have. Because remember, once you choose this template, it is going to be the template that you use for years to come. The second tip is once you've figured out what your template is, you need to decide what works best. Is it better to have your face in the thumbnail or have you found that thumbnails without your face actually do better? This is where you can actually do some testing and see what thumbnails work best. The great thing about YouTube is you can change your thumbnail as you go. You could choose one thumbnail, see how it does for a week, change it over to the other thumbnail and do some testing and see whether your face or no face is going to work best for your channel. The one thing you don't want to do is compare yourself to other YouTube channels and go, okay, this video got a lot of views. Let's copy their thumbnail or do something similar to their thumbnail. The problem with doing this is every YouTube channel is different. Their audience is going to be different and they're going to react differently to their type of thumbnail. So what you don't want to do is go ahead and copy someone else's thumbnail when you're going to have a completely different audience that may not like that style of thumbnail. So it's really important to do your own testing and see what works best for your channel and that way you can actually see whether your face or no face works best you've got that template set up so you're going to stick with that no matter what sometimes thumbnails can take a while to start to take off and people start to recognize them so when you're a small channel you want to get that mindset set in place so you've got a template set up so you know exactly what you're doing you can make sure all your thumbnails are cohesive and as you start to grow your thumbnails are going to do better and better because people are going to recognize you 
for that style of thumbnail. And the third tip, and probably an obvious one, is you need to have something in your thumbnail that makes somebody want to click on your video. It's not enough to just have bright colors, have an awesome photo, have everything in the thumbnail that shows people exactly what the video is about. If there isn't a reason, if there isn't something in that thumbnail that makes somebody go, oh, that looks interesting, I wanna watch this video. There needs to be something in your thumbnail, generally gonna be text-based, but it can also be image-based, of something giving someone a reason to click on your video. Now you can call this clickbait, but never ever put something on your thumbnail if it's not gonna be in your video. You don't wanna go ahead and trick people to get the click, because if they don't enjoy your video, you're actually gonna hurt that video. So make sure you're not tricking people. There's nothing wrong with making thumbnails clickable, but there is something wrong with tricking someone into clicking a video if they're not actually going to get what they expected from the video. So it's really important to not clickbait people, but you need to make sure that your thumbnails are giving a person a reason to click on the video. Yes, titles are really, really important. So if you wanna learn how to create a clickable title make sure you do go ahead and check out the first part of the series but also just as important the first thing that someone is going to actually see is the thumbnail and sometimes a part of that title or something linked to that title is going to be linked in the thumbnail i have a person who feel like text is really powerful and i like to make sure that almost all of my thumbnails have some kind of text in there because that's giving someone a reason to click on the video so you need to make sure really think about what your video is about what the value is in that video that makes someone want to click on it in the first place who your audience actually is, and then from there you're able to determine what's gonna be the best title for that audience and what's gonna be the best thumbnail for that audience that you know if they saw this thumbnail and you know exactly what they're looking for, that is gonna make them wanna click on that video. Could be something as simple as a how-to video. If your thumbnail says, hey, you're going to learn exactly how to do this in this video, and that's portrayed in your thumbnail and in your title, that's gonna make somebody wanna click on that video and get the answer that they're looking for. So make sure you follow these free simple tips of how you can go ahead and create a high quality thumbnail make sure that it's cohesive do some testing with your thumbnails and of course make sure that it's something that somebody wants to click on and they're going to gain value from clicking on your video hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up it really does help support the channel and if you did enjoy this video i know you'll love these other videos go ahead and check those out and i'll see you over there. Peace.